on a tenant a word for my name is Wernick Gale. Um, this thing going on has really affected my health. Here's my friend to talk for me. Okay. Hello, city councilors and staff. I am uh, one of Myrna Gale's supports, and I am also a member of the Acorn East End chapter. I also am a tenant of uh, our apartment building. I wasn't given uh, the eviction, probably because I live in a one bedroom and my rent's over a thousand. Uh, in her personal experience, um, she received an N13 early in the spring of this year. She was so upset when she got it, she didn't understand what it meant, so she brought it to me. And I reached out to Acorn and they uh, and a few other people to find out what this all meant. And they kind of told us that we could, you know, get help with it, that she didn't have to move. Um, now, what was listed on the rent evictions didn't make any sense to us because the wall that they're talking about knocking down, we were always told was a firewall and that you couldn't nail stuff in. So I don't know why they would be knocking the wall down that would open up the kitchen and the living room when they've always told us that it was a firewall. Her kitchen cupboards were replaced um, a couple of years ago. She, and I, her apartment's in pretty good condition. The tiles are old, but they're in good condition. Uh, we took pictures because the apartment really was very well maintained by her and her husband. Um, her grandson moved in. She lost her daughter and her husband within four months last year. And her grandson moved in for to support her during that time. And um, when she got this, uh, we went to also the advocate at Indian Center and got her an advocate because they approached her and offered her a one bedroom apartment for almost $500 more rent than what she paid, which she can't afford. She's a pensioner. She hasn't got that kind of money. And also it would leave her grandson out on the street and all her supports that she's had, that she has based in there for like to help her for when she gets older. Now before the renovations, her health was pretty good. She's a pretty spunky little lady. Since all this has started, she's had trouble with it walking. Her stress level is out. Her blood pressure has been up. Like it's, it really has affected her health because she's worried about if they're going to get move her. Where is she going to go? And how is she going to pay rent? She's not going to be able to. Um, uh, she did refuse the one bedroom apartment. Um, and to stop them from approaching her because she was getting stressed out we got the advocate so now they can't talk to her unless they talk to the advocate or her lawyer because acorn got her a lawyer um that's covered by the defense fund uh, you know they're going after people that are disabled that are sick who can't go out and fight who can't go out on marches I, I just don't understand how, you know, people that have worked all their life have to go through this. And I mean, the, the minor issues, they can repair. And if, if it was that bad, why wasn't it repaired before? And the other thing is, we don't even know who owns our property. We get told Melvin Incorporation or whatever. If, and then you get to, we fill out forms for um, geared to income housing. The waiting list for five years. What's she gonna do if they try and run a vector? Are we gonna have everybody living in tents? Something needs to be done about keeping the rents lowered for people that are, you know, not rich. You know, I'm all for, you know, working with whoever I'm run now before you have all old people. You go up to the food line, street line, most of the people up there are disabled and old, waiting in line for food because they paid the rent and don't have enough money for food. I think the government needs to step in and start getting these landlords where they can't put the rents up and they can't get people up just so they can raise the rent. So something needs to be done, please protect these people.